Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jada and I do art videos. Sometimes crafts, but mostly art and watercolor is my preferred medium, but occasionally I delve into acrylic. So today I'm doing a watercolor and this actually was painted in Venice, Italy. So it's right off St. Mark's Square and I'm painting um, some gondolas and a little bit of the background scenery. I'll talk more about the painting in a second, but right now I'm going to talk about the materials I was using. So I'm using a Fabriano watercolor block and I think it has 25 sheets in it and it's waxed on all four sides to prevent the paper from buckling and it's really great for traveling and painting on the go. I am using a palette that I put together myself. I actually have a video of me filling the palette um, which I'll link down below. But I'm using Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolors and I think I have about 20 colors at this point. They were a gift um, for Christmas and for graduation from my master's program. I am using a Aquash water brush. So if you haven't heard of water brushes, they're really, really awesome for painting while you're traveling or painting kind of on the go. I really like them. Basically, they're a brush with a water reservoir, so you don't have to have a cup of water with you. Um, and I just start out kind of slowly putting like base layers down. I started with the water and I'll slowly build up more and more colors over my painting. That's generally how most people paint in watercolor and that's my preferred watercolor technique is to paint a lot of layers really slowly. I also tend to do a lot of dots or dashes in my painting and you'll see a little bit more of that when I start getting to painting the water especially. So I know this is not the best angle for a painting and I do apologize about that. I'm still getting used to filming myself while painting and in this case I was actually using a GoPro camera because that's the only thing I had like a little miniature tripod for. It wouldn't fit on my regular camera and um, my GoPro is not one of the really nice ones with the LED screen on the back, so I really wasn't sure what kind of angle I was getting. So you'll probably notice this from a few of my Italy videos, that the angle is not ideal. And there, someone was asking me about my painting, so that's why I dipped my hand in front of it. But I really, really enjoy painting on the streets and painting in plain air or in real life because of the interaction that you have with other people. So I know a lot of people would be like, oh no, I'm too scared to paint. I don't want other people to see me painting or to know what I'm doing. But I actually really encourage you to do this as a way to boost your self-confidence because I've never gotten a negative comment from anyone when I was painting out in public. And I know other people will probably comment or probably say like, well, that's happened to me. People have said mean things to me. But I think in general, people are really nice and positive and like to look at your artwork and tell you that it's really cool so and a lot of people like to just kind of like look quietly and pretend that they're not looking so I encourage you to kind of paint in plain air if you can so this is the painting that I ended up with and I really like how it turned out um it's not the best perhaps. There are definitely ways that I could improve upon it, but I really like it. And if you like it, maybe you should check out one of the other videos that are popping up on the screen right about now, or subscribe to my channel and become part of this little art family that I'm trying to grow on YouTube, I guess. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.